Many games today use some kind of inventory system, but have you ever tried creating your own? Today I will teach you how to do that. We will create this simple inventory system where you can just pick up some item, then play some animation, for example attack animation, select another item or throw the item away. Let's get started. In this scene I only have some basic player controller and I have also downloaded some models for those items but obviously you can have any other models you want. So the first thing that we will do is just take all of those models, put them into the scene, change their sizes and put them somewhere into the player hands and also put them under the hands object that way all of those items are moving with the player. Now we can create new scriptable object which will be holding each item type's data. So create asset menu. For these scriptable objects you can also check one of my videos. Now we need to create new enum which will be holding all of those item types that we want to have in our game. Like this and then we can assign some properties to the objects. So for example you can add some cooldown and then we will need the item type and the sprite which will show when we pick up the item it will show in the hotbar. Now we can just create instances of the scriptable object for each item. And also don't forget to set their properties. Now we will create new script which will be just holding type of the item. And this script we will add to each of those items and then assign the according scriptable object to it. We will create new script for the player inventory. And another script which will be just on those items that we can pick up. So we can first start with the player inventory script where I will just add some variables. So I have added some inventory list which will be holding the items that I currently have in my hotbar, then selected item which is just the number of the selected item, then some keys which we'll use later and then also game objects for those items because we'll need to turn them on or off. I have created a new dictionary in which we will input the type of the object that we want to set active and it will output as the game object item. Now I will create new void which will be triggered when we select new item. In this void we first set active all of those items to false and then we access the current item in the dictionary and set this item to true. Also don't forget to call this void on the start. Now we can start handling those inputs, so when we press the 1 key, we want to set the selected item to 0 and call the void new item selected. And we'll do this for all of those keys from 1 to 9. And we want to make sure that we actually have that item in the inventory that we can select. Now we can try it, so just add the player inventory script the player and assign all of those values. So now into the inventory list you can add some of those items into your inventory and you can see that when I'm pressing those keys it is changing the items according to which key I press. So when I press 1 I have hammer, when I press 2 I have mace and so on. So you can see that this system is flexible and you can add as many items as you want to your game. So now we have basic foundation for this whole system and in the next videos I will show you how to pick up those items, how to throw away those items and also how to make some basic graphics for the hotbar. I hope this video was helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye!